to go down. We've seen it from them in the past. We've seen them seen it from them this season. Their heads can really go down and they can start to doubt themselves. And it's difficult for them to get those comeback wins. They got a lot of help last week from Monaco as they reverse swept them. I don't think they're going to get as much help from Mouse today, who are going to be all guns blazing. They're just going for this and seeing if they can get another series win today. I mean, already pretty good results on the day with a substitute player. That being said, subs seem to win in our LCS these days. Maybe this is supposed to happen. Here he is, actually. RG looking to get involved. All of Mouse willing to attack the ball together, even though they're still pretty new playing together. The synergy is there. And speed will be the next up for Mouse. We'll have to rotate back out here for Cooks. And that high ball off the corner. It's going to be Barca trying to handle this on defense. Doing a good enough job of it. Devo up for the next challenge. That'll keep things locked here in the orange half. Cooks and Arju bumping into each other, but Arju stayed with the ball, so they'll pick up the save on the attempt from Flakes. That is fortunate, though, from Mouse that they didn't concede there. We saw Arju and Cooks are both going for the ball in the corner. They actually made contact with each other, and the ball just rolled through. Can't allow that to happen too often because there's one thing Barcelona don't struggle with. That's scoring goals when they are given good opportunities like that. Still scoreless though. Mouse made the big misplay, but they were not punished for it. And to your point, Johnny, going into today, Flakes was leading the league in shooting percentage at 31%. So you are absolutely correct about their ability to score. Ronicky off the ceiling. It's a good attempt over to Flakes to keep the ball close. Devo, third man, will win the challenge clean, but Ronicky can't find the touch in the corner. Rossports won't feel a ton of pressure, but that's a good pass. Immediately countered by Cooks here. Still end to end here. In Mouse territory, Arju attempted clear, knocked away. Ronicky was cut off by speed in the corner. Good landing by speed. Get the ball out. Cooks now on the opposite side. Up for speed again. Speed, the shot off the crossbar. Quickly up is Arju, setting up Cooks. Cooks' shot is denied by Flakes. There is that three-man offense from Mouse again. They're all coming forward, looking for opportunities to get involved. That was the best chance that they've had all game. Speed with the crossbar. But they need to be careful going forward like this. Barca, they've gotten used to defending this season. They've had to do a lot of it. They do struggle to get the ball out of their half at times. And Struggling to get hold of it at all right now. Mouse running rings around them. And Barca finally gets it cleared. That's a little moment to breathe. Wanna keep crossbars to Flakes maybe, but no, he's slow coming in. They're not as willing to attack the ball as Mouse are in the final third. Well, Ronicky wanted that pass to Flakes, but he wasn't able to flip into it. He ended up side flipping. Still, Barca possession in the third. Another good challenge by Ronicky. Ooh, Devo, he's gonna have to back up a little bit, but he gets a solid touch over to Ronicky. It'll keep Barca in midfield. Arju, long pass over to Cooks. Cooks wins the ball clean off the back wall and a good touch to get the clear, Barca. Just still not able to get any kind of consistent pressure. Went downfield a couple of times, but every single time they get one shot and then it's either Cook, Speed, or Arju, all three of them. have done a good job managing the ball in the corners, finding those clears, and even finding each other with a little bit of space, but Speed, it's actually a miss. Ronicky will get the ball out of midfield, so despite a couple of mishaps on both sides, now the team really able to capitalize on it. With a couple of nice pushes, we're still 0-0, less than a minute. Speed looking on form today though, this is exactly what Mouse need. Two veterans of the team have to be playing well. Plays the ground game, something he's very well known for. He gets it past one, not the greatest touch afterwards, but Devo's still coming in for this. Now Ronicky, and he's defended well by Cux, potentially an open net. And near the other side of the field, speed testing Flakes, but that's safe. Barca have control in their corner boost. They're gonna be able to hold off the attack once again. But there's no doubt Mouse do look pretty dangerous when they're attacking. I'd say the more dangerous of the two teams, Barca looking for an opportunity, but they're slow with that final touch on goal, just like they have been all day. 
Still locked at zero, nearing the end of regulation. Speed takes the pass. He's got no boost left, and Devo will take it away anyway. Arju, high ball towards the box. And again, cleared out by Barca. Speed wants to go again. He kicks it up high, takes the ball away, boosts the whole way down, has the catch. Oh my, if he could have found the flick, but the ball a little too far forward. He got OC. Has been made life difficult for himself with the first touch, but he still kept the play alive. He really wanted to make something happen on zero seconds there. Arju, look for the opportunity in overtime. He's done <gasps> it. He's oh! on the line. Surely it's in. Arju. Arju. Continuing a series, a season of substitutes. What a shot to win it all. Oh, and he muscled right past Devo. Pretty much bodied him out of the net. Cooks didn't even need to touch it. Came up and he ended up missing the touch and it still goes in for Arju. Wow. Uh, Johnny, uh, it continues to impress me how the script just has the substitutes being impact players, no matter what, time and again. Even if, you know, Cooks' speed in their last series put on a lot of shots, had a lot of good back and forth. Arju is putting in goals when they matter. I love it. Yeah, he's slotting right into that rotation very well. I think as an attacking unit, they do look the more threatening. They, of course, did have that one little mishap in the defensive corner where Arju and Cux drove into each other. Um, but Barcelona, they don't look too aggressive in these positions. They're slow to uh, attack the ball in the final third. And I think they, you know, they're going to need to step that up if they're going to match Mao's in terms of what you know, what we saw from Mouse in this game, because Mouse, whenever they attack, they look like they are they're going to they're going to get a goal at some point, even though they have to work really hard to get it past this uh, Barca defense. Eventually, they did get that goal. And Barca are, are really trying to force things in the offensive half. You could feel the frustration near the end of that game, where you know Devo took a risky challenge or the risky shot attempt as third man right up in front of the box, and Flakes had to race back for a save. Ronicky didn't get any shots on net that game. He's been quiet. So they definitely ha have their work cut out for them, still having the, these offensive issues uh, against Mouseports. Again, like you said, the defense has been pretty good. Uh, Sands, one or two mistakes. We'll see if Barca can, can bounce back. Again, either team winning 3-1 means they clinch a top four spot. But a best of five, or a best of five going five will mean they will have to wait until Veloce plays later on. Now Ronicky in danger, makes the save and gets the second touch away from speed. Arju almost put the first in for Mouse, but Ronicky turns straight around and Arju makes a good save. It's a very nice save by Arju. Ronicky did well to accelerate the ball with such little boost. Mouse are making plays now, crossbar saves Barca again. And a pre-jump by Ronicky. Denies Kuxer. Sure comes Speedy. I think he's just missed his touch into the middle. Counter attack opportunities for Barca. They're looking to knock it down. It's open. Off oh. the post, though. And the Woodworks MVP game, too. Absolutely. That was a great look for Barca, even in traffic. And they got to be feeling it after missing that one. They were already angry at the end of game one. Well, Flakes will attempt to carry this out. But Speed's touch will actually give way to Cooks. Speed couldn't make contact. And so Barca back on defense. <laughs> Ronicky just trying to get away from Devo. Give some clearance. A good touch from Ronicky down the field. Almost caught Mouse. A little too far forward, but Cooks had to save Ronicky. Oh no! Devo had jumped before that second touch. But Speed can't get the clear. Ronicky stays with the play. Here comes Barca. A shot. Flakes doesn't have it, but it's a double commit. Devo shot too light. Flakes tried to screen Arju. It didn't matter. Mouse Sports hold on on defense, and they're back on the blue half. Really clutch saves by both teams. We've seen Ronicky pre-jumping on one end. Now Arju just denying the last shot there. He Barca scoreless, not just this game, but for the whole series so far. It's the best chance yet for Flakes. He's got Cuxer out of position. And there's the finish for Ronicky. It's about time. Barca have taken the lead in game two. Yeah, that touch by speed as he was going towards that midfield boost. He ended up losing the ball to Flakes. And then that miss low on the back wall read. No mouse sports, an early mistake. And Barca finally on the board for the first time this series after having that earlier attempt that bounced off the post. Maybe it gives them a little bit of confidence. Here's Ronicky. Oh, Ronicky finds the dunk! Two nothing, Barca! 
Ronnie keeps having a great game here. Look at this finish. Early read on that one. And he just sticks it right past speed. Directly into the goal. Anyone thinking he's going to try and pass that one into the middle? You better think again. Ronicky reminding us the kind of striker he was known for. And now they're coming forward again. This is really woken up Barca. They got another opportunity. They need to be careful. They've overextended. Now Mouse coming the other direction. A shot on net, but it's a double commit that hits Barca out. Ronicky will get credit for the save. Speed trying to keep it close. Ronicky is all over him. Up high. Ronicky does he have the read? He did, but he couldn't hit the net. Just high. Well, Ronicky's starting to feel it. That was his first goal in seven games. And all of a sudden, he's woken up and he puts two in for Barca, putting them at a three goal lead. Oh, it's a third. It's his third. It's a Hattie. Never mind. Oh dear, oh dear. Cuxer. To be expecting too much of Devo there. He's had to painfully fly over the ball as it just bounces <laughs> under him. But that is twice this game that Cux has pre jumped to the goal line and not made contact with the ball. He really needs to calm down to the defense. Mouse are struggling to handle what's coming at them. Second goal, of course, was just brilliant by Ronicky. The other two could have had something from Mouse. Ronicky's just done them again. 4 0. And Barca are just stomping Mouse in this game. It is absolutely a slaughter. It's a good 50 win, and there was no chance for Cux to get back to that ball. And you know, for, for Cooks' season, it's been a lot better for him on defense. Most of the season, he's been really reliable on that end of the field. He's even been getting more involved on offense, but the defense has been a weak point for him in this series. Flake's on top of this. And this is just a feel-good game for Barca after struggling on offense all series against TSM. Putting a four spot on Mouse Sports. And you have nine shots from Ronicky and four goals, a return to form for him. I mean, it's a, it is a reminder for what Ronicky can do. This is what he was known for when he first came into the RLCS. He was the striker of his team back then on Triple Trouble, scored in all the goals. And he said to take a bit more of a, a midfield role on his current roster, but he still has that ability. He's a really punishing striker, knows exactly when to arrive in the box or at the edge of it in order to give himself a good chance. Very good at hitting those top corners. Very few players have been able to do that in the past. Adolf, of course, famous for that as well. You always have to keep an eye out for Ronicky's shooting ability. Very scary player in front of net. Arju ended up missing another chance on net there. He's had, he's had a couple of chances that just haven't gone his way. Ronicky will put in a fifth. When it rains, it pours, and for Barca, it's a thunderstorm. And Ronicky just can't stop scoring everything that he does right now. <laughs> starting to get to goals. Ball just keeps on coming towards him, and he knows exactly what to do with it. That's some good finishing, and if they can keep this up, it's really promising for the rest of this series. And although they're usually a very clinical team, just like I said earlier, they didn't have the best day offensively against DSM. This 5-0 couldn't have come at a better time try and turn this series around completely. Will Maus be shaken by this? Are they going to be overreacting now to everything that Barca and in particularly Ronicky do? They really haven't been able to read him this game at all. No, and, and they started to get into that pattern. They're finally here on offense, but really in garbage time. But they get into that mouse sports pattern where they just start booming the ball away with space or is just kicking the ball against the corner when they're in midfield rather than opting to control with space or, or looking for a teammate or really putting the pass in a tough spot and it's a double hattie for Ronicky. he's got 1100 points in this game he's six for 12 this dude can't be stopped that is a disgusting shot as well what placement by Ronicky. And you can tell that he's just going for that because he's scoring so much. He's thinking, you know what, I'm just going to try and shoot this on target again. Everything's going in, so I might as well. I wouldn't usually expect to see him shoot in that angle, even though he is very good at the placement. That just shows you what confidence can do for Barca. If you've got somebody popping off, and it can be Devo, it can be Flakes. This game is Ronicky. And they can just take over a game completely by themselves. Six goals, over 1,100 points. That's ridiculous for Ronicky. And that's one way to shut down Mouse and give your team the upper hand, at least in the momentum battle. 
right in the middle of the series. We're going into game three now, and Mouse have really got to throw out their weaknesses in defense. And not a pretty performance from Mouse at all. When, when you compare the shots, you only had seven uh, comparatively the 19 from Barca. Mouse Sports, just zero offense. It started off okay. At first, Arju had that first shot on net that bounced off the, the top of the crossbar in the, in the post, and it just bounced right out, and Speed couldn't find the touch. Ronicky was actually the one who had that save at the very start, so that was just his, his start to a very confident game. And now, both teams, this is where they both want to win out to just clinch top four and put themselves in a good spot for the regional championships. They don't want to have to sit and wait to see where their spot's going to be later on. And for, uh, we, we've said it, we've said it already. I mean, Barca, it's a great confidence game. They, they absolutely needed it. Mouse sports, I'm worried for them just because when they get in these kind of spots, they get in that turnover game and they just start turning the ball over in, in unoptimal situations. So we'll see how they can recover. Yeah, it's up to both teams now to get two wins in a row to guarantee that top four spot, like uh, we mentioned earlier. Looking like Barca are the heavy favorites to do that at the moment. A mouse win is looking a lot harder to get in the series. They're probably going to have to go the distance. But with how inconsistent Barca have been all season, nothing would surprise me at this point. If they come into this game three and Ronicky scores another six goals, we'll all say, well, yeah, of course, he did it last game. Like, what's to stop him doing it again? But if they get... 5 mil here, it would fit the description of their season quite well. They've just had real problems playing with consistency. Let's see if they can do it here against Mouse. Yeah, we'll see if Game 3 is the sequel for Ronicky. Long clear will put them on offense. Trying to figure out what's going on with this ball. No one from Mouse Sports was able to handle it off the backboard, but they weren't punished off that back wall misplay. No shot comes off the whiff, and it wasn't even challenged. Arju on point for Mouse Sports, but just couldn't get the angle out. He had no boost. It was going to be tough, and we're on a slow start in game three. Oh, Devo. Got to flip to catch that ball. And, oh, the shot from Cooks wasn't good enough. Arju barely had enough boost, and his launch angle wasn't good enough. And so Mouse will have to keep trying here. They do still have midfield. Speed will slow things down in the corner, so it's looking good for Mouse Force right now, but ball right back over to Speed. We're just back and forth in one end. Finally, a clear for Barca. See, the Mouse are really trying to control the ball right now. They realized the last game they were in trouble pre-jumping for no reason. They were panicking on every single touch, but now they're trying to make sure that they don't give away the possession too easily. Huxer does though there, but he did have backup from speed. Arju with the dribble. This is better for Mouse, but they don't look anywhere near as scary in the offensive half of the field because they've slowed the game right down, and this is something that Barca should be quite comfortable handling. Breakaway opportunity, and it's stuffed by Flakes, which means Arju will punch it in, and Mouse take the lead in game three. Oh, Flakes has pre-jumped this. And he's just ended up hitting it straight into the bar. I mean, he's showing a lot of respect to Speed there. It's possible that Speed will hit a top corner shot before Flakes can react to it, but free jumps have been getting people in trouble a lot this series. Both teams now conceding goals because of them. And Flakes and the Scarab, you know, I'm not sure I'm convinced in that position. Need to be a bit more patient. Need to maybe wait, wait and see what's going to happen, especially Clearly, like Flakes, he's well known for a reactive defending. So surprising to see him making a risk like that. Well, he does, or at least Devo does get on top of this in the corner. And we'll see if Barca can keep that play going. That's a good set for Ronicky, but his shot easily blocked by Arju. And Mouse Sports, it's right now Arju, he's been struggling. Constantly trying to find find boosts. He's been starved, and now he gets caught out downfield off the miss from the third man. Ronicky will put his seventh goal in in the last two games. Flakes has really redeemed himself there. That's brilliant control. He just took the whole team out of the game by himself, and then the pop into the middle is an easy conversion for the goal scorer of the day, Ronicky. This game's been pretty much all on Flakes so far. 
One defensive mishap costing them, and now one brilliant dribble out of defense, getting Barca back in the game. See, Johnny, the Scarab was the key. He got his first match Scarab win. And you're one and oh, you're undefeated. The Scarab OP passing, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> They're trying to confuse but everybody. Way. They don't know is, is Flakes the ball? Is, is, is he is the ball, <laughs> uh, you know, duplicated? Maybe that's the game plan. Flakes can really just play start demoing NCR. Flakes more, thinking they can throw Flakes into the net. <laughs> well, Barca on offense. Or at least in the orange half. It's a monster clear by Cook. Speed. He tried to slow that down against Devo, but Devo had the better angle. Flakes attempted clear, blocked by Arju. Cook's also making life difficult for Ronicky, but Flakes is already downfield, has the catch. Goes under. Ronicky couldn't get the demo, but Mouse double committed, so Devo misses the shot, but it's actually a fake for Ronicky. Speed has the save. Ronicky taking fortune off of the miss, but they couldn't score. A brilliant save by Speed. Of course, Ronicky hit another top corner there. Speed was equal to it. Barca still looking like the better of the two teams if they can avoid the free jump misplays that we saw earlier. Everything else is quite easy to handle. Oh, or is it? Speed with a double touchdown low. Saved by Devo. Both teams testing each other now. Here comes Flakes. He's running a boost. He couldn't reach it, but Ronicky can. And that's saved as well. Ronicky starting to get blocked. And Speed heading the other way. It's denied by Devo. Cook's next in rotation. Flakes is blocked out. Now Arju off the corner. He's got that read and wanted to pass out. But both Speed and Cooks were both way back in the orange half. Which means Barca will have a chance here in the corner. Ronicky setting up something in the middle. It's a high ball, but forced to wait are Flakes and Devo. Less than 20 seconds remaining in regulation. In game three, Flakes just gets up to the ball. Ideally, Barca would like a shot there, but they won't get it. And now Speed on the attempted carry on the transition. No, he won't be able to get back to it. Flakes has it carried away. Is there another chance for either Mouse or Barca as the clock hits zero? Speed takes it to the ground. We got OT. Yeah, he didn't want to keep that one up. He did in game one. Uh, overtime. It's going to be where game three is decided. Barca can win this. They'll be on a great streak after crushing Mouse in the last game. Mouse, already the underdogs today with the substitute Arju playing. He's not looked like a sub though. He slotted in quite well. They're running into one of the better on form Barca's that we've seen. Arju into the middle. Flakes keeps it out of danger. So far, Mouse better chances in OT. Barca just looking to clear to the side. It is clear Arju's feeling very comfortable you know, in, in pressure situations, even on offense. He doesn't take you know, a low percentage shot. He instead opts for the pass, knowing mostly where his team is. Even that right there, a tap down only for Cooks. Flakes, tough off the backboard, easily has it cleared, though. Mouse are starting to find some consistent pressure, but that clear is going to make life a little more difficult to get back down to the blue half. It will be another long clear for Arju, Cooks. Off the back wall, the oh. shot's good for Arju! The give and go, and Mouseports take the game! The Italian pair in link up, but that is an outstanding finish by Arju. He's over the top of two Barca defenders there, quick as you like. And Mouse responds with a game three win. What a way to bounce back from such a crushing defeat. Mouse one game away from securing top four. Barca on the brink. Are they going to lose twice in a row to finish off their season? Nightmare scenario for them. It really would be, especially with how they looked at the start of the season. The biggest question about Barca before the season started was, you know, all right, how, how is Flakes going to slot in to replace Bluey? And he slotted in really well, and Barca started looking really strong, and then they've just fallen off uh, at the end. So... They have to figure this out against Mouse Sports. I mean, credit to Mouse Sports and Arju. Arju at the top of the leaderboard with those two goals and two saves and that monster clear to get it to Cooks to even get the last goal of the game. And I don't, I don't really feel like either team were able to find consistent pressure in the last game. Both teams really didn't opt for trying to control pass on defense, just trying for booming clears. And they were working. They were finding headway that way. 
I love the adaptation by Mize mid game though. He saw a very slow start to the game. They were just controlling the ball, and I I really feel like that is a reaction to being demolished in game two. They've realized we've messed up defensively here. Let's just calm down a little bit. Stop pre jumping everything. Settle down, and maybe uh we'll be we'll have a better game three. But as the game went on and on, they didn't stay that same slow pace. They were able to respond to Barcelona's speed with some speed of their own. And they've actually won the game with an RG finish. He's played brilliantly here. It's really been a season of substitute performances. And I, I really mean it when I say that every team should be looking at these results and thinking they get a very, you know, a, adaptable and a very solid substitute on their roster because look what can happen when you bring one Ooh. in there's r to speed and Mouse open the scoring in game number four yeah submit your resumes now because r was is writing the book on how to come in and be an impact player r what a pass to speed and it's it's really something to, to watch a guy slot in and be as comfortable as he is, but with how different Mouse look without Scrub and with Arju and how the complexion of this team has changed, I mean, it's a two-goal lead already. That is a bit of a fortunate miss there by Speed. He was up extremely early for that bounce, and I don't know if he intentionally missed it, but he certainly called that he would be because Cox moved up and he fired top corner before the defense could react. And that's another play that I would love to see more in 3v3 at the highest level. It's this big aerial play. As soon as anybody goes up for the ball, the entire other team are thinking, okay, he's going to hit that. They all have such respect for each other's aerial ability. And flakes on the ground. Everybody's got respect for what he can do in that position. Barca are in trouble here. Mouse look good. They've adapted well to their game two problems. And Arju still looks every bit you know, ready to play at this level. A minute in, already up by two. But it is Barca with some pressure right now. Ronicky kicks it over Arju. Cook's forced to wait for that touch from Ronicky. He will get it, but Speed will take control. And Devo will end up losing that 50. But Flakes was quick around, so Barca will retain possession. And slows it down. A good save from Speed, but they're not over. And Ronicky, that's eight straight goals to put Barca back in it. Ronicky once again. He's the sniper the finisher he's the guy that they look at to try and put the ball into the net today and he has to do it at least one more time or someone else in his team does they're gonna come back here and have a chance at top four Mouse still with the advantage maybe maybe if Barca can keep giving Ronicky the ball in the final third he'll be able to come back here <laughs> on Flake's dribbles too Flake had, Flake's had that stutter step that just Kind of threw Cooks off for about a quarter second. He had for forced him to just make a move, and he was able to flip it over him. So it's such a dangerous tandem, both Flakes and Rodicky. But here's Rodicky to Devo. Devo, the light touch off the back wall, and Cooks will take control now. Speed downfield, just trying to get in the way, but Flakes still makes the touch. Rodicky flying by. It will be Arju to pick up the ball for Mouse Sports. Speed. Oh, what a shot on the opposite angle. It was saved. But Cooks has the ball. Flipping forward, it's knocked away by Ronicky. But this is good for Mouse Sports. They got midfield locked down, and Barca are kind of bunched up right now. Ronicky's close to Devo and net. He will get to this next touch. It was a good initial save by Devo. Now the transition. Flakes one, Flakes two, and where's the three? It's Ronicky! Nine goals straight, and we got a tie game. Now we're talking about who's going to come out of today as striker of the season. I don't think Ronicky was too high up the leaderboard, but he might just be in contention now. I've not been keeping track, but this is unreal. He just can't stop scoring, and Barca are back in it. Mouse still looking threatening an attack, but they can't stop Ronicky from scoring goal after goal. Arju back to Cooks. Barca, when it looked like Mouse Sports were about to walk away at the beginning of this with an easy victory. Oh. Ronicky had something to say about it. And Devo, another shot turned away by Speed. Mouse Sports now. Tight rotation on defense. Cooks will have to wait for this next touch to Ronicky. Ronicky keeping it close, but next one wasn't good enough. But still, they got Mouse Sports locks in the left corner here. Flakes. Oh, Flakes is just so hard to read on the ground. Arju couldn't find it. Speed does make the save, but look how slow Mouse Sports are right now. 
forced to play reactive to Barca. That one high off the back wall. The shot was too light and wide anyway. And Arju finally gets a clear and some breathing room. It's much needed for Barca, or rather for Maiz at the moment. They've not looked too comfortable defending. And I mean, with goals flying in from Ronicky, you can't really blame them. Every time Ronicky makes a run up to take a shot, you can already see the panic in the entire Maiz defense. Likewise, this is not a position that Barca enjoy playing from. They really don't like getting stuck in their own corner. But the longer Mouse can keep them there, the better. Speed with the bump on Zeronicky. Nobody was there for Mouse to put the goal in. But they might be now. That was Arju. Denied by Devo on the goal line. What a save by Devo. Pumped it off the corner. But it's an open net unless Ronicky can get back in time. And he does. And he actually has control as well. He's over one. He's got speed to beat, but he'll have to opt to steal the boost and leave as speed moves back down the field. The Mouse Sports. Well, they might be back on defense now. Here's Devo on the carry. He's by Arju. Couldn't get by speed, but next up is Ronicky on this touch off the corner. Here are Mouse Sports again to the corner. Demo pops the ball up in front of the box. There he is, and Devo will put one in. First Barca player other than Ronicky to score in their last 10. It's about to check, or double check rather, because oh, seeing things for a second, it is in fact Devo who has scored. <laughs> Ronicky, not the goal scorer for once, but Barca will be delighted either way. They've been in the lead with only 30 seconds to go. And that's a three goal streak for them. Found some form. Flakes has been good on the ground. Now he's going all the way himself. That was close. Got another goal for Flakes and Arju denies Ronicky his start of the game. Mouse hanging on. They've got an opportunity on the counter attack. Back past midfield, Mouse Sports. They need something right now. That's Arju, the Cooks. Cook, oh, that's a miss from Ronicky. Oh, and speed backflips. He didn't have the angle. And now they gotta do it. The distance in the air. Speed, it's a high touch forward. He's still got it, speed. Oh, Arju dove for it, but he couldn't get there. And Barca will send this to game five. What a game from Flakes and Ronicky. Flakes, three assists and three saves, but Ronicky the closer. Yeah, it was brilliantly played by Barca. They were two down here, and you know, we were critical of them earlier, um, you know, saying that they might not have the best comeback potential. Well, they've done it there, and they didn't get too much help from Mouse in this one. It was just really great plays by the three players moving forward. And now this is very interesting, because I think Reciprocity might have already just locked in that top three spot. I'm gonna have to check in with the analyst desk on that one after this is over. But if I'm not mistaken, neither team that you're watching on stream at the moment can now catch up with Rec, or at least not with any help, without any help from uh, Veloce later, because Reciprocity have got the the goal differential over Barca, no matter what happens now. Uh, the game differential, I should say, and they've got the head-to-head -head against Mouse. So this is a this is really do or die for, for Barca and Mouse, and then they're just going to hope that Vitality can win against Veloce later in the day uh, to clinch them that top four spot. But, you know, I doubt, they've, I doubt they're thinking about that right now. They're probably just thinking about getting the game win. <laughs> Gotta game win this five. one they'll first. Leave the, leave the theory craft and leave all of the all the calculations to, to us. But here it goes. Game five, Mouse trying to get the second series win of the day with substitute Arju and Barca. Coming back from behind there in game four. Let's see if they can get clincher. And avoid going 0-2 on the day. ronicky has been clinical all series long. If Barca can pull away a victory, it will be. You feel like it'll be through Ronicky. And for Mouse Sports, Arju in front. He's been solid for Mouse in this series as well. And speed gonna slow down Ronicky for just a second, and I'll actually get back to that touch. Pass to Arju, denied by Flakes. So Barca, no danger just yet, but Crooks is on the push. You try to get under Ronicky, but still a good progression there. Arju off the ceiling, it's gonna bounce off the back wall, the backboard, and Speed. Ooh, misread from Speed, and Crooks was not expecting that, so he makes a dangerous save, and that's off the crossbar. For Ronicky, he couldn't punish Mouse. A rare miss from Ronicky. We've seen him denied by Barca, or rather by Mouse in the last game, but that time he just missed the target. Will that rattle his confidence in his striking as we 
go further into game five here. Mouse have already done this today. They've won a game five. And Barca, they did this last week and it was incredible scenes when they did. Monarchy high and into the bar again. They're not seeing as much accuracy from him in the ace match here. 90 seconds gone, no goal scored. Five here for Ronicky. He will find that next touch. Barca, they went to five today and lost against TSM. But Devo and uh, and Ronicky both trying to force that. Ronicky just trying to launch it off of Devo's car. Mouseport's the other way. Here's Cooks. Wants the pass to speed, and they almost found the connection. But you know, there was a little bit of a problem there. Pass from Ronicky or to Ronicky from Flakes. No good on the transition. Barca, it was a good turnaround, and I like the transition game from Barca in this series. It, it gave them the game winner last time, and it's given them a couple of solid opportunities. Ronicky, he was just unable to punish Mouse, who got caught on a speed whiff that was too far forward. Here it is for Ronicky, his 10th of the series, and about the half the game left to go, Barca in the lead. That's a great lead by Flakes. Notice that he's just dodged away from the ball there, because Ronicky's called him off it. Really good communication by Bars as Ronicky comes in for the finish. And just before halftime, they're the team that strikes first. It's up to Mouse to respond. But Barca look pretty good today. They've played very well. This is the sort of Barca that we're looking for all season long when they were struggling. And they're showing up when it matters most. They've got the lead with half the game to go. Ooh, or do that they? That's a good pass. Oh, Arju, another to speed. That was the Arju to speed connection, Johnny. Off of that missed touch, Arju has a perfect pass. Yeah, it's a phenomenal pass. Look at how early Arju jumped off the wall for this one. And the power that he's struck that ball at speed has given speed such an easy job to find the ball in corner. All he needed was accuracy. The power was already on the ball, thanks to Arju. It continues to impress today. All of the fears for Mouse trying to play without Scrub Killer will be long gone. They look great. They've been playing well as a team. They've been playing well as individuals. And it's really taken the game to a Barca who are on farm today, for the most part. Two minutes to go, still all to play for. Another high ball. Arju forced to make the save. Devo picking up two demos. And he'll keep Arju locked in on the attempted clear. Oh, Cooks, that's a misread on the corner. And speed barely bails him out oh, oh and then arju bails him out though so two massive saves from mouse now arju on point bounces it off the back wall speed keeps it in front of the box it's got to be cooked but he's going to be waiting in midfield and it'll be a barca transition back to the orange half ronicky missing that devo will come straight up now it's a fight in the corner oh very well done by barca but also well done by Arju and Speed on defense earlier off that misread from Cooks to keep Mouse Sports in a tie game. Yeah, Arju's playing so solid right now. He's getting behind the ball well and it's 50-50. He's hitting it so hard every time he's given an opportunity. Making life very difficult for Barca. Now here comes Arju all the way down the line himself. He's run into a brick wall. Like I said earlier, this is not where Barca enjoy to play Rocket League from. They don't like to be here. They're trying to get the ball out of this position as fast as possible. There's not a lot of boost on the Barca side. We really need a hard clear. There is one from Ronicky, but it's straight towards Cuxer. Devo struggling with it into the bar. Arju looking to move in now to capitalize. And he's got the goal. Arju all the way himself. 2-1 Mouse. Oh, when, he need, when they need a goal, Arju delivers that last touch, that flip at the end, just puts it over the defender, and Mousesports are up with an Arju goal again? Are you kidding me? This guy has slotted in not just well, perfectly, Johnny, for Mouse Sports in this series. Not quite over, but Barca, there's been a couple of key misses late in this last minute. Mouse Sports, time expiring. They hold this lead, then they wait for a decision with Vita Vitality and Veloce. If Vitality win it and Mouse Sports hold this lead, then Mouse Sports will be top four. Time ticking to zero. Cooks one for the road. Ronicky has the save. Devo will keep it in the air, but it'll have to be Ronicky, and he misses the ball. 
and Mouse Sports clinched another Game 5 victory today and put themselves in position for a top four spot. Wow, RJ didn't just step up to the mark. He's like actually raised it. He's raised the bar here. That is <laughs> arguably an MVP performance on the day to show up in your first ever day in RLCS and to carry a game five like that. The assist for the first goal was brilliant. The finish for the second goal was even better. And some of his work on defense as well. He was a solid player on the team in this uh, fifth match. I'm so impressed with what we've seen from Arju here. And congratulations to him and to Maus on the win. They've given themselves a really good chance now at securing that top four spot and uh, advancing into the playoffs second round already. Well, the new look Mouse Sports sitting pretty, waiting for this last match to get underway. It'll be Vitality versus Veloce. We'll get that one on after the break.